Hey guys, this is Hydro from Xtrades, and in this video, we'll be going over um, week, uh, weekly market analysis, and then uh, we'll see what's to come for August. So, as usual, we'll start off with uh, indices, so QQQ and SPY. Start off with uh, QQQ, go to the weekly chart. So, last week was pretty bad, right? We broke that 370 support level, and that was a level that was very important. Um, there's a key resistance level here, and we finally broke out two consolidation, three consolidation weeks, and that was perfectly normal action. And then we sliced through that 370 level last week. Um, so that was pretty poor action last week, but we are trying to rebound. Um, this is Monday of the next week, and we are already trying to rebound, so that is a good sign, but uh, how we close on this week will matter a lot. So if we can close above that 370 level, that would be a very good sign. Um, if we close below, then it could mean that uh, we could potentially see a bigger pullback. Um, but yeah, the uptrend is definitely still holding. So this uptrend, uh, one, two, three touches, and uh, potentially a fourth touch if we pull back more. But um, yeah, this uptrend is still holding. So long term, everything looks good. Daily chart, um, there's a downtrend line forming here, but we'll see if that can get taken out this week. But besides that, um, yeah, it still looks pretty good here. Um, now we'll take a look at SPY. Start off with the weekly chart. So same thing with SPY. The uptrend's definitely still holding, so we are in a longer term uptrend still for sure. This one has more touches one touch, two, three, four, multiple touches here. But yeah, this one still has a lot more room to the downside potentially. But we could just consolidate and wait for the trend line to catch up. So that's yeah possible scenario but spy is actually holding up better it did bounce off that 444 level last week so it did come down to it and it bounced off and closed above and uh yeah to start off the week is also or to start off for this week it's also um up nicely so the spy is actually holding up uh, holding up a lot better and that makes sense because the qqq has been up a lot more this year so now spy is just catching up and showing some more relative strength but overall, the SPY looks really healthy. Uh, resistance at the 453 level, support at the 444 level. And until we break in either direction, we're just going to be um, stuck in consolidation for some while. And that's perfectly normal since we had a pretty nice run still. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for the indices. And now we'll take a look at big cap tech stocks. We'll start off with uh, NVIDIA. So NVIDIA had an insanely good day today. It's up 7%, which is huge, right, for a big cap tech stock. Like NVIDIA, this is a big, big move. So we'll take a look at the daily chart. Actually, let me um, add the moving averages. So the 50 day is a very uh, key moving average for these bigger cap tech stocks. So you want to see them bounce off them, right? So last week, it's looking pretty bad. We closed quite, we closed, yeah, quite a bit below the 50 day moving average. Uh, by the way, this is the 50 day moving average. Um, so we closed quite below the 50-day moving average, and then today, on an increase in volume, we were able to rally really, really strong, close at the highs too, and uh, we took out the 430 uh, resistance level again. So yeah, this is really, really good action. If we can just consolidate for a couple more days, um, form some sort of flag, and then build, uh, and then yeah, build the flag, and then buy that. Or that could be a good setup to buy, but yeah, right now, and after hours, it's up few more dollars too so yeah this is really bullish looks like uh in investors are buying this dip for sure but yeah nvidia also does have earnings coming up in i think next week so yeah, keep that in mind as well but yeah overall nvidia looks really good uh today was really key if we yeah there's a good chance that we could just keep dropping lower potentially even lose or come back to like that uh gap up level but yeah that <clears throat> today was definitely a key day as we got to reclaim the 50-day moving average, and we did it on big volume and overall really big move. So yeah, really good action. Next up, we'll take a look at Netflix. Let me remove the moving averages. So Netflix is still in chop, right? If it closes below that 420 level, then we could see a bigger pullback. If we break that 448 level, we could see a, um, a move to the upside. But yeah, overall Netflix, it's acting okay. Chop is good here. So long, since it had a pretty big move up, now it's just chopping. So that's perfectly normal action. 
but yeah overall and netflix is having a pretty good year so far and i was just consolidating its gain so perfectly healthy action next up microsoft so microsoft lost that 324 level last week which is pretty bearish and it's been having some pretty big distribution volume the last couple weeks so that's not a good sign but if we retake that 325 level 324 325 level that could be a good sign for this or if we can do that by the end of this week uh, that'd be a good sign and uh, yeah that's pretty much all there is to say for Microsoft there is a longer term trend line here and it's, start, it's starting to break that but we'll see if we can recover that in the coming weeks but yeah overall some consolidation here would be healthy action for Microsoft next up Meta so Meta had a very steep uh, uptrend and it broke that um, but let me take a look at a longer term trend line so yeah it's holding up the longer term longer term trend line so this is still perfectly healthy action meta is actually holding up really really well didn't give back too much and it's actually forming a nice flag here if you look at it so it's actually really good action um the 305 the support or resistance level and we did close above that today so yeah we'll see how it closes the week but overall some more weeks of consolidation tighten up a little bit more and then make a big move in either direction but yeah meta overall looks really good tesla so tesla actually let's look at the daily chart tesla actually gapped down pretty low today there it opened at 235 and it actually filled this gap so that's very good um it filled that gap and then bounced uh, and closed almost or closed near uh, it closed near its high phase so that's really good action uh, one sec so there is a short term trend line here for me so if we can take that out that would be really good action this week or yeah if we can take that out that would be very bullish and reclaim that 248 level that would be very bullish for sure um, but yeah besides that not really much to do for Tesla it's in a downtrend so just avoid it for now until it breaks that trend line. Next up, Apple. Apple had a really bad bad reaction to earnings last last week, and uh, ever since then, it's basically just been like forming um, a bottom. It's actually been bouncing off that one seventy seven level, so that's really good action. So we'll see if we can retake that one eighty one level. If we can do that, then there's a good chance we can see a bounce back higher. But for now. Um, yeah, short under that 177 level, and then long if it takes out that 181 level. Next up, Amazon. Amazon's holding up pretty well here. Had a gap up, and it didn't give back too much of its gains, which is pretty impressive, considering how weak the market was the last uh, week. And it actually is breaking this uh, downtrend. So today was a very bullish day for Amazon, and it could be the start of a new run. So we'll see how it does. But overall, Amazon does look really, really good right now. Google, on the other hand, also looks really, really good. Um, but yeah, Google is uh, forming. Yeah, it's forming a pretty nice flag here, and it's consult. It's been consolidating for a couple of weeks, so yeah, Google actually looks really, really good here. Uh, this would definitely be a top watch for the week. Um, next up, AMD. So AMD had a really nice bounce off support today, a 106, 107 level, but was very important, and we bounced off exactly where we needed to. And uh, we're back into this uh, consolidation, and uh, we're tightening up here. So AMD could uh, break out in a big way um, very soon. A couple more days of consolidation would be good, but I think uh, AMD is definitely getting ready to make a move up higher. Looks very good. Um, next up, we'll take a look at growth stocks, ARKK, see how those are doing. So 45 was a big resistance level previously and it slides through that so this is still very bearish for ARKK but now we're back into a consolidation zone so unless that 45 level gets taken out again and if it can do that by this week that would be a very bullish reversal and uh, I think we could get back up to 50 pretty easily but right now it's back in consolidation mode and uh, I wouldn't touch it personally here I'll just wait for that 45 reclaim but yeah not much else to do besides that um, now we'll take a look at some of the best stocks that have been holding up um, so APP has been holding up really well had a really nice gap up earnings pulled back in and then 
closed pretty well in that in the last two days it's been rallying so this one's definitely a top watch so it's the weekly volume or i mean weekly chart look at the weekly volume right really bullish sign and the one from nine dollars to 40 now so off the low so really bullish action um but yeah this one does have longer term resistance at that 40 level so it could definitely consolidate here for a little bit but overall this one's definitely a top watch next up vrt so this one's even better than app so this one had two gap ups in a row from earnings and this one's consolidating very nicely uh clear resistance at that 36.25 ish level and uh yeah, it's been holding up really well despite how weak the market has been and on the weekly chart this looks like a really big breakout right so this one definitely has a lot of room to the upside since it's making new all-time highs so this one's definitely a top watch as well uh, next up let's take a look at upwork so upwork had a really nice gap up on earnings and ever since then it's just been consolidating nicely not giving back too much of its gains so it's forming a pretty nice bull side here so we'll see if it can take that out and uh, yeah this is potentially a really nice setup for this week um but yeah a few more days of consolidation tighten up and then potentially break out um, next up we'll take a look at lknty so this is a china name this one's been holding up really well and it's forming a really nice uh, flag pattern here so um keeping that on watch that's the weekly chart it's a really nice uh stage one breakout here so this was the one sec so this was the stage one breakout and then it's starting to form an uptrend here pull back in now it's making another base here so we can break out of that 32 level this could definitely have a lot of room to the upside but yeah it did get to 50 previously in uh 2020 so uh, that could be a potential target but yeah this one has a lot of potential in my opinion um okay next up we'll take a look last but not least actually cam camtech so let's take a look at the daily chart really big volume right it's had a really nice this had a really nice gap up on earnings and ever since then it's just been powering higher and higher and yeah really nice um accumulation volume here so lots of green bars here so this is a very bullish sign go to the weekly chart look at that volume right look at the volume before and look at the volume here it's a very clear sign that institutions are loading up into the stock but this one's making a really nice cup pattern and a couple more weeks uh, if it could pull back in a little bit more and then form some sort of handle this would be a classic uh, cup and handle um, textbook pattern here so watching out for that watching yeah keeping this on watch for that but overall really good action um yeah not much else to say so right now i'll just wait for a couple more weeks of consolidation because this one is definitely a little bit extended on on the weekly chart so a couple more weeks of consolidation would be a good idea uh if, but there's a good chance that i can just break out and uh, take off immediately but you want the best risk reward setup so even if it does break out here i probably won't take it uh i want that good risk reward setup so some consolidation find the low risk entry that's what i want um but yeah that's pretty much it for this week thank you guys for tuning in